Hey guys, <laughs> it's Weezy here. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off a sword because we are back on Kaizen. You off the off the top there. Anyways, <clears throat> we are back on Kaizen again. No surprise. No surprise. We are back on Kaizen. I'm going to be showing off Death Death's Harbinger. Now I don't know where the sword comes from, but you do to Kaizen. But I do know it's a sword in Kaizen that I'm going to be showing off today. It is one of the three legendary swords in the Kaizen game, the Roblox game. And it's, only, it's one of the swords you can only get from a module. So, yeah, I'm going to be showing off that, that off today. And uh, it's going to be a short video, obviously, since it's just like only two moves to really show off and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, anyways, you guys <laughs> in the game. You can see the, you can probably see the game in the background. You can probably see like the little on the sides. And whatnot the game but um yeah <laughs> I have two hours before I have to go to online school man two hours uh, I know right making this video at seven in the morning crazy but uh let's get right into the game <laughs> finally because I'm taking too long this this I'm be talking so much it's, it's kind of like irrelevant it, it really doesn't do anything it's just kind of me sitting here talking because, you know, I mean, this is going to be a short video anyways. I might as well just sit here and speak. I mean, come on now. I got all day. I mean, I don't really have all day, but still. Uh, it's been almost two minutes already. So, uh, you know, speaking of Jujutsu Kaisen, I got a Gojo figure here. Yeah, look at that. I feel like... Did I not show this? I don't think I've shown this already. Yeah, but I got a Gojo figure here. You wanna know? Look at that. Hey, hey, look at him. Uh huh. Nico. Ah. Yo, i more. That. Ooh, bro, looks so good. So slick. Oh. Um. Yeah, I don't really got much else. I mean. Oh. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, uh, uh. uh, dang. Your boy got a little uh uh Star Wars um Hobbit, you know those look at that, look at that. Uh, hold on, hold on. Come on, lighting, focus. Okay. Alright, got this from Walmart. Can you see right there? I mean obviously hold on. Walmart. Boom. Mm. Yep. Pretty cool. I don't know, for some reason I just always wanted to do ASMR. Not always, but like I just have a I just like a it's like a it's like a, a thought. Just out of nowhere, I just feel like doing ASMR. Lots of random stuff and tapping on it. Alright, well let's get let's get into the game. <laughs> this, okay, finally. Sorry. No fault. Been too long. Alright, so we're in the game. <laughs> no surprise, the air has already opened up, so I mean it didn't take too long anyways. Um Okay, so this is Death's Harbinger. It is one, like I said, one of the legendary swords. Check my inventory right here. Death's Harbinger, legendary weapon. Fury. Oh wait, I only have one because you know I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that lucky. Also have Jet Black. Um, there is one more legendary sword, which is called the Cyber Slayer. I have never actually seen that before, but it's not. I heard it's not as good apparently as like Death's Harbinger or, or Jet Black. So I mean, I mean, I, I don't why bother getting it, but I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get it. Because it's a legendary and I have never seen it before, so yeah. But uh, yeah, this is Death's Harbinger. It is like pretty much, you know, it's little, we have a little red ore over here. Look at that. You see, like the, if you can look closely, you can see a little face right here on the little, like, the sword thing. You see a little face. What I really like most about this sword is because the red is the, is the red ore. I mean, look at that. It looks really slick. It looks really cool, man. Really fire sword. <laughs> no pun intended, because, you know, it's. It's obviously a sword with fire. I mean, look at that. I mean, I don't, you know, it's, it's a hell sword. So, I mean, fiery makes sense, right? Um, so pretty much on this sword, er, on, on legendary swords that you get from modules, they do have two perks. Um, so one of my perks for the sword is berserk. So being on low HP increases damage output. Makes sense for a death harbinger sword. You know what I'm saying? Being close to death, I get more HP. I mean, more damage. <clears throat> 
So, and then the next one I have heavy hits, deal more posture. I mean, deal more, deal more damage and posture cost per hit. Um, so those are the two perks I have on this sword. Um, all right, so yeah, those are the two perks. Death's Army right here, Furry Slam and Hell Strike. Those are the two only moves. Um, I'll show it right here and I'll show it in combat. I don't think I'll be able to show it good enough against these little bandits, but I guess I'll show it. So, Fury Slam. But what Fury Slam is, it pretty much is like whatever you hold your thing, you can see it. Yeah, boom. So, pretty much, cooldown's not that long. Pretty much how Fury Slam works is pretty much you hold E, right? And then you just move your mouse wherever your mouse is moved uh, is where you're going to land or where you're going to like like slam down on. There is a range to it or a limited range. So let me use it again. So the max range you can go to is like right here. You can move it around all you want to. You can only hold it for so long before it automatically just you know, lets go of it. So that is Fury Slam. Um, let me show it against the boss real quick instead of like, you know, a weakling. Let me show it against the boss. So let's go over here to this uh, Yoko boss over here. Was her name Yoko? Her name, her name wasn't Yoko, was it? I have no clue what her name was. No, it's Saku, it's Saku, not Yoko. Why well, I keep saying Yoko? I have no clue. Okay, anyways. Hurry slam. Just move over here. Ooh. Bink. Now it is good to get the drop on bosses. Do like a little bit of damage. Block it. Mink, 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 mink. Alright. So yeah, that is Fury Slam. Let me use that one more time. I'm gonna wait for the cooldown. Ow. Ow. Okay. All right, Fury Slam one more time. Bing. All right, look at that. Nice one. Now this is pretty good for PvP because obviously you, know, you can tell you can like aim it where you want to, you know, hit the player. Because every time you hit somebody with this, it like knocks them back. Uh, every time I use PvP with it, it like used it always used to like it always like knocks them back every time you hit somebody directly with it. So it is pretty good for PvP. You can just aim, boom, bang. All right. So uh, next up is Hell Strike. Moving on. All right. How much health she has left? All right. Not that much. All right. So uh, Hell Strike. All right. But pretty much what Hell Strike is is pretty much um, you can hold it, but it doesn't really do much if you hold it. So you just press R, and it pretty much is like a like a I guess a uh, AOE type move. I guess so. Pretty much while somebody's in it it takes damage over time while somebody's in that little like area um and it takes it, it takes damage over time or it does like little damage over time so that boss is gonna take forever to spawn so i don't really know what to show it against man golly i guess we'll just go to this boss over here Jeez. all right so here's hanamato i'm gonna show it here because it's probably the best because um well more easier because this boss is actually pretty strong all right so hell strike boom you can see here it does damage over time about 15 damage it doesn't last too long, but um, it is it, it, it is pretty good for like especially for PvP. Like you can like stop somebody from moving because like slows down it's like a opponent's movement, and so it's good for that slowing down movement and it does damage over time while they're in it. And then and then when they're in it, you can also like hit a little bit. Sometimes you can like get out of it and like hit. It's so, like when you use the move, you're pretty much stuck in place. But like if you use it at the right time. Boom, you can hit, hit right there. Bink, hurry slam, boom. Ow, damn, ow, damn. All right, come here, boss, come here. Bink, bink, bink. There's also one thing that's pretty cool is like when you slash. You got the little red effect. You see like the red trail coming from the sword? Look at that. When you slash, it's pretty cool. One thing that's pretty cool about the sword too. Honestly, this is definitely one of my favorite swords because of the look and the moves are pretty cool too. So it's definitely one of my favorite swords to use. And because it's my most strongest sword that I have. Because of the perks. Bam, just like that. Hanamato is dead. It only took me a couple seconds. Yeah, that is pretty much Death's Harbinger. I mean, it is pretty cool sword. Definitely one of the best swords in the game to use. Um, there, there's probably better swords. But um, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite swords. But that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, obviously not too long. Just simple little quick video. Um, but then, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Love y'all. Uh, hope you enjoy. And we're almost close to a thousand. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say, man. Love y'all. And, uh, bye-bye.